In order to run and debug a sample Java based web application in Tomcat using VS Code, first we are going to download and install Tomcat in our system. Let me type Tomcat download in Google. Press enter. By default, it is showing me the Tomcat 9 software downloads. Let me click over here. If I want to download any other version on the left hand side under download, I have the option for 11, 10, 9. Let me click on 9. Scroll down. I'm going to download this zip version. Clicking on this. Download started. Open downloads folder. I'm going to place this zip file into a specific directory where I keep all my softwares. I have already created one folder called all underscore tomcat and extracting it over there. This step is optional. Now Tomcat extraction is completed. We are going to run this. Before that, I need to make one small change. Inside CUNF conf, open this file tomcatusers.xml. If I scroll down, there is a section for different roles and users. Here I am going to add two roles, admin GUI, manager GUI and the associated user which would have both of the roles. So here. I have defined two roles, admin GUI, manager GUI, created one user with name as admin, password admin, and both of these roles, both admin and manager GUI. Going back to the Tomcat folder, going inside bin, copying this location, opening a command prompt, going inside the bin directory, clearing screen, type start, press tab, startup.bat is there pressing enter so it has started running tomcat the server startup is completed going back to browser now in browser we are going to enter this particular url localhost colon 8080 clicking on manager app it's asking for username and password let me enter that click on sign in now we can view this tomcat web application manager so Tomcat is downloaded and set up properly in our system. Going to VS Code now. In VS Code, in order to run and debug Java West web application, we need to communicate with the Tomcat server. For that, one specific extension is required. Going to extensions, type community, select this particular option, community server connectors. This is one extension from Red Hat. If I scroll down, here you can see this community server connectors, this specific extension, it supports multiple servers like Apache Tomcat, Apache Caraf, Apache Felix, Jetty, Glassfish, WebShare Liberty. Let me install this. Now the installation is complete. Now if I go to Explorer, I can see there is one particular section has appeared which is called servers. And under servers, ideally it should show the community server connector. Let's wait for a while. I'm closing this in the meantime. Now I can see this community server connector. If I right click on this, we have this option create new server, meaning we can add a new server. Clicking on this download server. No, we have it on the disk. So I'm selecting this option. No. Now I need to point to my Tomcat directory. This is the one. Click on select desired server location. At times you would face this problem. If you select the server, nothing would come and there is a blank white space with next and finish. Just close this. Try it again. Create new server. No. All Tomcat. Select this. Now the page has appeared. This is a new server. We can provide a server name. If I scroll down, there is this option to finish. Click on finish. Under community server connector, this is the Tomcat that is shown. Right click on this, select start server. Now this is working. One important thing over here, ideally you should use a JDK or Java version which is greater than 8 and less than 17. I have tried working with Java 8 on this, it does not work and also with 17 there is some issue. So preferably I would request you to use Java 11 based on my experience so far. So in order to set JDK 11 over here, what I can do, I can go to settings, I JDK over here, select this install JDK, edit in settings.json, 
select this press enter name i'm going to select jdk 11 over here java ac 11 comma press enter control space path i need to provide i'm going to copy paste the jdk 11 location in my system let me check that out first i have multiple jdk in my system so i'm going to select this one copying this control v i need additional slashes over here let me add that now this should be good in order to run and debug a sample java web application we need a sample java web application i'm going to download that let us go to this particular link github.com slash expert 2015 simple web app click on this code button to download the zip download is completed extracting this removing this postfix that is master copying this to a specific directory pasting this now going back to vs code and opening this specific project file open folder this is the project select folder trust the authors click yes i trust the authors now here one important thing inside pom.xml by default this maven compiler source and target is 1.7 it's an old project where i use 1.7 let me change it to 11 as i'm using java 11 saving this clicking on maven expanding this expand lifecycle select clean click over here Clean is complete. I'm going to run package also so that the word file is generated. Minimizing this, going to servers in the meantime. Package is complete. Now, here under target, we have this war file present. So, this one we can run in the Tomcat. What I can do over here, right click, add deployment. There are two options either file or the exploded let me select file i have to select my war file over here it has opened the directory the project directory go inside target select the war file click select file deployment do you want to edit optional deployment parameters i would select no now i need to run the server in debug mode i can select start server for normal run or debug server for run in debug mode clicking on this please input a project name to be used by the java debugger I can keep the same name, simple web app, or maybe add few hyphens over here. Press enter. So here I can see the server has started, but the war is still not deployed. I have to do a right click and perform publish server. Now it has deployed this simple web app dot war. Going back to browser localhost colon 8080 let me type simple web app now the application is running and it's running in debug mode so going back to vs code now opening any class file where i can put a breakpoint i see there are two servlets this is the login servlet i'll just place the breakpoint at the very beginning maybe at line number 18 this is fine going back to browser login providing some value admin admin as well Click submit now you can see this page is stuck over here and this icon at vs code is blinking the reason being the breakpoint is hit now we are able to run the java web application in debug mode and the control has hit the breakpoint that we have placed so this is how we can debug a java based web application in tomcat using vs code here we can perform the normal operation we can just click on continue so the flow would move away and if i go back to browser it's telling welcome admin so that particular flow is finished so this is how using vs code you can debug a sample java based application but i want to repeat whenever you are using this particular extension that is this community server connectors make sure you are using a version which is greater than java 8 and less than java 17 in my case for experiment purpose i tried it on java 11 and it worked but for java 8 and java 17 for both of them there were issues so while you 
use this keep that specific point in mind